everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about netflix's newest original series dark desire or oscuro the cell <laughs> Don't worry, you guys, I won't be doing this review in Spanish. I did contemplate it, but I really want to get into it. I don't want to be, like, struggling with uh, trying to figure out the Spanish word. Let me let you guys know, for starters, this series is not for everybody. Also, before I officially start, this is going to be a spoiler review. So, if you are looking into seeing this series and you don't want spoilers, go ahead and hit pause. Go binge watch the show. I binge watched it last weekend, like, those times where I'm like, oh, they're not the TV. But if you don't mind spoilers and stick around, I'm going to spoil pretty much everything except the very last final twist. So the School of the Cell is a telenovela soap opera. Um, it is in Spanish with some English subtitles. I'm going to tell you this right now. This series, like I was trying to say earlier, is not for everybody at all. If you don't like Fifty Shades of Grey movies or stuff like that, this is not going to be for you because this is one very hot, stimmy, naughty, very sexual series. So definitely not something you want to watch with your kids or have your kids kind of like roaming around. Um, I know it is a telenovela, but I honestly find it more uh, so to be like a lifetime movie. But let me, let me read to you what the description is. Hold on, let me get my glasses. <clears throat> Let me get into dramatic mode here. A married woman spends a fateful weekend away from home that ignites passion, but ends in tragedy, causing her to question the truth about those close to her. Now, the only one that I know from this whole series would be Maite, um, because of Rebelde. <laughs> yes, where are my Rebelde fans at, you guys? We do have 18 episodes um, with this series, which is technically a lot for a Netflix original. Usually we get six to about 10 episodes per season when it does come to be a Netflix original. They are only 30 minutes long, so it is pretty much an easy binge watch. Now, honestly, you guys, somewhere around midway or maybe past the midway point, it kind of declined a little bit for me. Like, it started off strong and it was great. I was like, oh my goodness, whoo. This is a lot this is good stuff. But then it kind of just, you know, just just a little bit. I mean, it did kind of pick up a little bit towards the end. It could be just me personally. But overall, I just, I really, really enjoyed this show. But like I said, if you don't like, like, Fifty Shades of Grey, then this is definitely not the series for you. And I tell you guys that there is a lot. Like, every single episode. Was it every episode? If it wasn't every episode, it was at least, I don't know, 80% of the episodes, 90% of the episodes have sex scenes. Either because it's happening currently or because we're flashing back to the sex scenes that already passed. And this just happens a lot, you guys. So Alma is going to go visit Brenda, her best friend who lives out of town, to basically go be with her because she just went through a divorce. And while she's over there, she's um she's a little a, a, a drunken mess, you guys, okay? So she really doesn't want to talk about what's really going on. She wants to go and party and basically like get laid. That's like her goal at this particular point. So they go to this club and Brenda right away goes to the dance floor and she's like with all these like youngsters and everything. I'm over here trying to go get some wine. And then next thing you know we see Dario. This fun self. I'll put a photo up here of him. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Woo! Hotness. So Dario squatted Alma, and that's kind of where everything kind of goes to shit from there. Later on in life, we find out there was a different plan going on, which involved Dario actually was there to find Brenda because of her involvement, which we'll get to later, but I'll go ahead and give you that particular spoiler now. One of the, the things that I did know that was one of my earlier predictions was that I bet you now Dario is doing all this with Alma to get back to the uh, juez. Uh, which is a judge, which is Alma's husband. I was like, I bet you all this has something to do with him. And she's fucking around with her to fuck around with, with the husband. And that is true. That is, it's, yes, you guys. Woo! Okay, I'm trying to, like, keep these as contained as I can because this could be a long video, you guys, because we're, we're literally recapping 18 fucking episodes, you guys. And there's a lot. Vario's giving Alma like all this sexy charm. I mean, again, do, do you see this? Okay. 
He is a 22 year old, I believe, or 25 year old. Somewhere around there. He's a college student, okay? Hold on, because I keep getting ahead of myself because I'm just too excited about this, okay? So Alma suspects that her dear old husband, El Juez, the judge, Leonardo, is cheating on her with his secretary, Edith. He was not cheating on her, okay? But he was a little bastard cheating on her. But we'll get to that later. All this time, you know, she's just assuming. That's what you're not supposed to assume because then you end up making an ass of yourself and then, like, you get entangled like jada says the body's telling her yes but her mind is like no so brenda comes around and it's all like look i found this like cute little fuck boy and i'm gonna go jump on that tree here the keys to the house have fun take him home jump on that tree you deserve this peace that's just the type of friend that she is okay and i'm seeing on twitter and a lot of people were really having a lot of hate on brenda because it's like what kind of friend is she i can't believe she's doing this you know what y'all let them be freaky mind you once we get to later part in the uh episodes um pretty much find out why she's telling uh her to go ahead and screw this guy enter first sex scene with that yo. wait was that the first sex scene i don't know you guys first sex scene happened within like eight minutes of the series like no joke so i can't remember if it was with him or if she was with the husband either way it goes it was about eight minutes in and it was sexy this show it knows what it is it knows the the targeted audience us targeted audience really enjoyed it so i goes back home but in the midst of that brenda kills herself or does she kill herself because it's kind of like how it goes throughout this whole mess alma is also a professor because i'm rather college student but guess who enters and we had kind of like a whole boy next door kind of feel you know the one with jennifer lopez yes that he decides to enroll in her class because he officially becomes a stalker you guys so we start off with a certain plot to fuck with the husband like i said he falls in love with alma and it's all like you ruined my plans because like, i fell for you because you were the best sex of my life and i just i want you and i need you in my life this motherfucker crazy so the reason that Lario had this plan was to get to Leonardo because it involves his father. And before Leonardo was the judge, he was just like a detective or whatever he was. And um, basically there was this case that involved a little girl who was raped and murdered. And they're trying to solve this case. An escape goat, that's what it is. An escape goat in this whole tragic murder that happened because you know again he wants to be the judge father actually you know of course goes to jail and he's like no i'm innocent like i was set up you the mom was also part of the setup like literally got like clothing and like sperm and like to plant dna on this little girl so they can blame the the, the dad okay so one of the witnesses witnesses was brenda so that's what we end up finding out later on so then it's like oh the daddy then killed this person the detective involved in this well the unofficial detective would be esteban which is leonardo's brother he was a detective himself he doesn't really believe that she killed herself uh well turned out that brenda and esteban had a thing going on we turn and we find out other things and when now we're like oh nope it was leonardo who killed her and that's when we get to the why brenda was like kind of pushing alma because the best friend and the husband were sleeping together, you guys. And then when Leonardo found out that Alma had an affair with Ario, and he's like coming up in her face talking about how could you? You were sleeping with the best friend. Don't you come at her. Don't you come at her. Because you had a whole little affair going. Mind you, she technically did. But this was just recently because she thought you were sleeping with Edith, your secretary. He was not. Let's get back to Brenda. Remember earlier, I said Brenda was having a thing with Esteban. Remember? Esteban is Leonardo's brother. Yes. This heifer was sleeping with both brothers. Neither one of them knew that they were sleeping with, the, with, with this girl until later when she was dead. Woo! You guys. Woo! I'm telling you, it's a good novella. It's good. It's a lot going on. It's a lot. We got, we got, um despair we got infidelity we got murder uh we got suicide because it turns out that she really did commit suicide because she was a manly in love not with esteban but with leonardo that is right 
she fell in love with her best friend's husband and of course for Leonardo it was just sex it does showcase the suicide thing in two episodes and before the uh show starts they do have that warning of you know you're gonna see this and your discretion is advice so then we find out that Dario has been messaging Zoe who is Alma's daughter her I think she's like 19 or 20 year old daughter might be a little bit older she's still trying to find herself and she's kind of confused sexually I'm like I know this motherfucker he's gonna try to get into the daughter's life I just knew it I knew it and he does it's not a befriend kind of deal the daughter too you guys i mean i knew it was gonna happen but mind you this part right here though is a thing that kind of is like you basically raped the daughter because you know she clearly said no and was like hold on because she wasn't ready you know and he's all like it's okay it's okay like trust me a very like uncomfortable scene and they still stay together and then we do have like another sex scene with them and she was more like into it in a way but i was just like yeah that particular one when it first happened it was very rapey vibes which i know that this is gonna cause um a lot of people to dislike the series which you know actually yes i do remember seeing tweets talking about how can people like this you know their raping scenes and stuff like that Nadio, he's just such a sick fuck because whenever he was uh screwing the daughter he was literally imagining alma and he actually told alma this like every time i slept with her like i thought about you okay you guys i think this is it i i i'm like screaming at you guys right now it's just it's really good you guys it's really i'm ready for season two i don't know if it's been renewed yet or not but i hope i really do hope it has oh one of the things I did forget to say, the day of her anniversary party, he um, sneaks into the uh, room next door and like watches Alma and her husband like have sex. Uh, apparently this gets compared to you. I've personally never seen you. Um, I, well, I saw like maybe like the first two episodes, but I really wasn't into it, but it has a big old following, so I may give it another shot. Have you seen Oscuro the Cell, Dark Desire? What did you guys think about it? Did you, you hate it? Was it just not for you? So if you did enjoy it, are you looking forward to season two? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye!